what you're gonna get out of all this model that has lots of questions that you have right now will be answered. How do you overcome overwhelm when you have so much on your to-do list, so much on your plate? How do you make time for these things that are important to you and then that are sitting at the moment at the back burner? How do you deal with the criticism to your writing, to your work? How do you deal with the fear of criticism that is usually stopping you even from starting, stopping you from writing, creating that writing block? What do you do in the morning so that you set yourself up for success with your day, that you feel good and productive throughout the day? How do you meet a hard deadline that's approaching soon and there is still so much to do without burning yourself out and suffering from exhaustion? You'll find out what are you doing every day, all day long, and probably doing right now that is undermining your confidence, that is slowing you down and sometimes paralyzing you from, from moving forward. And you also will know how to turn it around. How do you overcome perfectionism that is stopping you from starting right now? How do you overcome perfectionism that is stopping you from ending the work, sending it finally off for, um, to your co-authors or to your supervisor? Despite of all the things you might be having on your plate, you might be procrastinating right now. So how do you overcome this procrastination? How do you create certain habits and, and rituals that will just help you just to, to push through that initial resistance that comes up when you're starting something new or, or when you're getting stuck in, in the middle of the project. If you feel like you're going with the flow and you would like to be more proactive, if you find yourself pleasing everyone and it's so difficult to say no and you end up agreeing to do things that are important for other people but not for you and then you end up by having no time for things that I'm pointing to you, you're gonna learn skills for this in this program, how to be more proactive, how to really feel that drive in the certain direction that's, that's important to you, and how to say no. And it's not about following a script, it's actually to learn to value your own time more, to actually own your time is actually changing about how you feel about it. And the saying no is actually can come easy and that both sides, you and the other person, actually feel good about it and they're looking forward to other opportunities. If you get discouraged easily, you're going to learn the tools in this program how to be your best encourager and supporter. If you have a family, your work-life balance is probably your biggest challenge and, and lack of time and everyone wants a piece of you. This program would be perfect for you. I, I myself have a family and I'm going to be sharing the, the strategies that work, the real life examples. And I've worked now with many, many parents, researchers and scientists and it worked really well for them. If you have worries and anxieties that are like really robbing you of, of the joy of this life and, and your research, and maybe they're even like stopping you when you sit down writing, they just come up in your head and really create that writing block or a block to do any, to make any progress with your project, this program is for you. We're going to deal with how do you deal with worries and anxieties? How do you manage them? I'm going to share with you all the plan and step by step and we also get into action. I'm going to be sharing with you my own best practices and, and habits and rituals that I've created that I apply throughout my life day in and day out. And I'm going to be sharing with you, giving you the team plates where you can just be filling in your own times and your own priorities and applying them straight into your work and life.